Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, three straight days of 70 degrees or higher, 74 this afternoon. Now it's a kind of back to reality. Much cooler weather on tap beginning tomorrow. Meanwhile, live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar with the approach of a cold front, seeing these light scattered showers stretch from about Buzzards Bay through the Cape and the islands heading offshore very shortly behind that drier and cooler air that will work in during the overnight hours. High temps today, mid 70s, including 74 Providence, upper 60s to low 70s along the coastline. I mean, easily 15, 20 degrees cooler for tomorrow afternoon. Threat tracker now through Friday and Saturday in the low category. Nothing really on the horizon as far as big weather, you know, lots of precipitation, wind, storms, high impact kind of stuff. So it's relatively quiet right on through the weekend. Even though we have the chance for some showers for part of Sunday, doesn't look too significant at this point. I'll show you that in a seven day future cast. Downtown Providence, partly cloudy, still warm for an October night at 64 on a west southwest breeze at six. Humidity coming in now at 63%. Smithfield in the low 60s. You'll drop to the 40s by daybreak tomorrow. 63 Gloucester, uh, Coventry's at 62, low and mid 60s across southeastern Massachusetts. So there is a big temperature drop now through about 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So when we wake up, it's about 45 degrees early in the morning to start the day, recovering to only 55 in the afternoon. So here's the cold front that I'm watching, the leading edge of that dry, cooler air that'll be heading offshore. Note the clearing already taking place in Albany, New York, right in here, and that'll work through overnight. So it means sunshine coming up for tomorrow as a cool dry air mass that settled over the Great Lakes and uh, southeastern Canada will be moving in. This blue color represents the location of the cooler air. So here we are right now. We'll take you through to tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. It is a cooler day in the mid 50s, but the core of the slightly colder air coming up for Friday night into Saturday. Look at the darker blues working in. So 37 by around 6 a.m. Saturday morning and recovering to only the low 50s, low to mid 50s by Saturday afternoon. So dry weather, but certainly on the cool side compared to where we've been of late. Let me walk you through it hour by hour, starting off this evening. And you note the clearing line that will continue to work. Come on. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right. Wouldn't it be cool if I could just change the weather like that? All right, so by uh, 7 a.m. we're clear. It's sunny, but look at the temp compared to today. Uh, 45 degrees, so cool start to the day. Now sunshine gets to work and we recover to about 55, but there'll be a gusty wind, so the 55 feels cooler. So it's kind of a uh, you know sweater, windbreaker, sunglasses kind of day, but it is dry. And this will set up for a clear, even colder weather tomorrow night. I mean, those high school football games around 7 o'clock tomorrow evening look okay, though temps are in the uh, 40s. So here's our breaks down tomorrow morning at 46, 11 a.m., 50, and about 55, brisk and kind of blustery, but with blue skies tomorrow afternoon. All right, seven day future cast. Again, Saturday's a nice day, but we start off at 36 in temperatures uh, during the afternoon hours in the uh, mid 50s. I want to show you the Patriots forecast very quickly here. Some showers on Sunday. To me, it looks like Sunday morning. By Sunday afternoon, things are drying out. The showers are ending. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock in Foxborough. Temperature at 60, so nice and mild. So the second half of the day is looking better with drier conditions. And then cool and dry both uh, Monday and Tuesday. Partly sunny skies with afternoon highs in the mid-50s and nighttime temperatures in huh, the 30s. That it's reminds me of that movie, Karina, Karina, where they blow at the traffic lights to try and get them to boom. turn green. Imagine if everything in life would just kind of like... Done. Yeah, I've seen you do it. Magical yeah. abilities at that map over there. All right, thanks, Tony. All right. <laughs>